Hi, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up, and today I'm taking a look at how to install PHP My Admin in MySQL. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to install PHP My Admin since I didn't mention it back in my Raspberry Pi web server tutorial. If you have already done my web server tutorial, then you can skip some of the early steps by clicking here. Now, to just quickly mention, for those who don't know, MySQL is a relational database management system that allows you to store and maintain data. It is one of the world's most popular relation database systems and is commonly included in most LAMP stacks. PHP My Admin is a free tool that has been designed to allow easy administration of MySQL. It is hugely popular and used in a lot of web server environments throughout the world. As always, you'll need to have Raspbian or a similar operating system installed before we can get started. If you want to learn how to do this, be sure to head over to my video on installing Raspbian if you haven't learned how to do this yet. So firstly let's install MySQL server on the Raspberry Pi. To do this enter sudo apt get install mysql server. During the installation you'll be prompted to enter a password for the root user. Make sure you write this down as you will need it to access the MySQL server later and also tie phpMyAdmin to it. Now that's done, if you want to access and start making changes to the database, simply enter the following command, mysql-u root-p. It will now prompt you to enter your password. Once you have entered the password, you can now enter SQL commands to create, alter and delete databases. You can simply leave the command line by entering quit. Now we're done installing the MySQL package, we can get going on PHP My Admin. I will go on the assumption that you have not yet installed Apache. If you have already done this, then you can skip this command. So enter sudo apt-get install apache2 space php5 space lib apache2 dash mod dash php5. Once that is done, now let's install the PHP MyAdmin package. You can do this by entering the following sudo at get install php my admin. It will now begin to install. Throughout the installation process, you'll be presented with a screen asking the type of web server you want it to be run off. Select Apache 2 as this is a server we just installed. Next we need to configure PHP My Admin to connect to a database. We'll use the one we just set up or the one you set up in the Raspberry Pi web server tutorial. So to do this, select yes at the next prompt. It will now ask you for a password. This is the password we set previously when setting up MySQL. Next it will ask you to set a password for PHP My Admin. You can keep this the same as the password to the MySQL database or have it as something else. Make sure you remember it as you will need this password to be able to access the web GUI. The final thing we will need to do is to make sure Apache recognizes our PHP MyAdmin installation. To do this, enter the following command, sudo nano slash etc slash apache2 slash apache2.conf. Now at the bottom of this file, we need to include our PHP MyAdmin apache conf file. Now write include slash etc slash phpmyadmin slash apache dot conf. Once done, save and exit by pressing Control X and then Y. Now simply restart the Apache service by entering the following command sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash apache2 restart. If you need to get your IP for your Pi, enter the following command hostname dash i. Now you should be able to access PHP My Admin from a browser. To test, go to your IP, then slash PHP My Admin. For example, mine is 192.168.1.108 slash PHP My Admin. If it's all working, then you're good to go. If you want to learn how to set up WordPress on the Raspberry Pi, then you can find that back in my web server tutorial. I hope you have both MySQL and PHP My Admin working now. If you come across any trouble, have feedback, or think I missed a step, feel free to drop me a comment below or over at pymylifeup.com. 
Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.